Good morning, Andy. December 3rd, January 3rd, heck, sometimes November the 3rd, if we want to add on all those dates. Uh, right now I'm on Old Harlem Road, so just off of the Bower Parkway that runs through McChesney Park. And yeah, the snow continuing to fly for us. And we've got a Max Storm Tracker radar that, well, has plenty of snow to go here over the next several hours. Let's go ahead and take a look for you. And again, that snow will fly up through the noon hour. I think we'll start to see some breaks in the action as we head into the afternoon and more so into the evening, but still looking at another one, two inches of slushy accumulation to come down. And we could see some heavier pockets of snow too. So winter weather advisories are still in place through mid morning and then heading to around the noon hour. Again, expecting that slushy snow mainly on grassy surfaces and the winds too out of the north and west, anywhere between a good 20 and up to 30, 40 mile per hour wind gusts. And that could mean when we do see those heavier pockets of snow that we might very well be dealing with some whiteout conditions and reduced visibility. So again, that is something we'll watch here with the heavier pockets of snow bands that move in forecast by time. We've been in the mid 30s to get started this morning and that's pretty much where the temperatures are going to stay today. Notice each and every day part there, we continue on with snow in the forecast. It'll be that wetter, heavier snow. Snow, the biggest concern today, visibility with those wind speeds and maybe some icing where snow does accumulate, could get packed down to become an issue for us on some of the roadways, uh, mainly the bridges and overpasses. 35 degrees, our temperature feeling like 24 with west northwest winds clocking in at 18. And those winds will stick with us here for the rest of the day as we do anticipate the breezy conditions. In some cases, we do have some wind advisories up, certainly for our northwestern counties. After a high today of 37, down to 33 tonight, we'll see 44 as we get into tomorrow. And that is where we'll see maybe another rain snow mix from time to time. Now, not thinking we're going to have an abundance of precipitation tomorrow, but could be enough to impact the day there with it being wet at times. 46 as we get into our Friday forecast, drier but still chilly. Saturday, sunshine, a high temperature right at 52. And then we'll look for 52 on Sunday. There are some chances that we will probably go on to see, again, some rain as we get into the afternoon there for that Sunday forecast. Monday, Tuesday, we dry out, see highs in the mid 60s and we'll look for just a few clouds around for us at that time. All right, that's checking the forecast details. And Andy, the reason I wanted to be on Old Harlem Road and right up Bower Parkway, if we take a look there at the primetime East State Street Cam, is because our next concern as we head into the weekend is going to be our rivers and waterways. And we have seen a great deal of rainfall come down here in a very short period of time this week, an uh, inch and a half and in some cases two inches yesterday alone coming down for us and now we get this snow we're watching those rivers go up before our very eyes so there is a sandbagging station set up now at what used to be the jc penny at the old mcchesney park mall in mcchesney park uh, for the potential of what could be a flooding scenario this weekend but all eyes on those flood prone locations with the rock also the Kishwaukee, Pecatonica, Sugar Rivers. And you can see here at Stone's Landing, right off that Bower Parkway Bridge, uh, just how high the water is. And hoping as we do get into the weekend that this isn't a location that we end up having to do some news stories from, or potentially even some live shots as that waters continue to go up and our rivers, streams, creeks begin to swell here. Uh, we're live in McChesney Park. We'll have much more coming up next half hour as we take a look at the 10 day forecast. Andy will send it back to you. No, I'm not going to roll all the way into that water there, but just wanted to give you an idea of how those waters are racing here at the nine o'clock hour. Back to you. Now you have a very well behaved backseat passenger as well, by the way. Oh, do I? Yeah. Hey, Daisy. She seemed to take. Hey, come here. There you go. She seemed you to take things well. You want to look great? Yeah, she's just happy she's not stuck at home and she's getting to be out for a ride. Okay. She, she likes her rides. I call her Gladys Kravitz because she likes to be nosy and oh. you know check out everything that's going on. And, and she's probably noticing that river is a little high too, so we're not even going to think about swimming. No, we're not. Here. We don't need to do that today. No. no. All right. No. Thank we'll you. We'll back to you. Reverse.